You have gone all out with the best pain protection film in the market, got the perfect set of floor mats and maybe even some well researched window tint to keep your car uber cool. But you are missing out on one major aspect of protecting your Tesla, and that's with a dash cam. Well, Teslas have had dash cam and sentry built in for several years now, so why do you need another dash cam just like the good old days? And no, this is not a sponsored video, let's find out exactly why. So Teslas are known for their autonomous driving systems, or as Tesla likes to call it, autopilot, which works on, well, cameras, all 8 of them. In fact, since 2021, new Model 3 and Model Ys use only their cameras, or what Tesla likes to call, Tesla Vision. Earlier cars did come with ultrasonic radars as well, but those cars have been updated to use only their cameras, disabling the radar altogether. Much to the fury of a lot of Tesla owners, since it reduced maximum autopilot speeds, amongst other things, but that's not the point of this video. Why do you need an additional dash cam when your car already comes with 8 around, not counting the one in the cabin? The first reason is quite simple. Tesla's dash cam and sentry features are integrated in the car's media control unit, or MCU, combining footage from all cameras and writing it on the system connected flash drive. So, what's wrong with that? In theory, nothing, but since the dashcam and sentry are not isolated from other systems, the chances of these breaking are extremely high, especially when a new update is released. In fact, a recent update sometime in May early this year did exactly that and basically bricked dashcam and sentry features for most Model Y and Model 3 cars. Having a false sense of security is worse than not having any security at all. A separate dashcam with its own independent memory gives you a great deal of redundancy. Agreed, you won't be able to see the footage from all 4 cameras together on your big in-car screen. Wait a moment, 4? But didn't you say these cars have 8 cameras and all? That's the second reason you need a separate dash cam. Although there are 8 cameras all around, only one from a total array of 3 cameras in the front is used for dash cam and sentry features. This causes the front camera to see a lot less than what your eyes do, or even a separate dash cam would. Let me show you something. This is what Tesla's dash cam sees. This is what my Garmin Mini 2 can see, and this is what my eyes can see. Quite a difference, huh? So you might think that the car has recorded something and feel good about having it on your dashcam, but in reality, when you check the footage later, the car may not even have recorded what you'd think it did. This exact same thing happened with me when a friend and I witnessed two shoplifters dashing away from a store, with a getaway car and all that. And we waited, thinking the car had captured all of it, but realized it didn't get anything because of the narrow recording angle. My setup is extremely simple. Again, this is not a sponsored video. You could use absolutely any dashcam that you wish. I use a Garmin Mini 2, which I especially like since its minimalistic design camouflages well with the rest of the car. The camera connects via USB-A to the accessory socket in the center armrest with the supplied cable, long enough to be routed through the headliner and the A-pillar. I have installed a SanDisk 256GB high endurance card since that's the recommended spec for dashcam and surveillance applications. It connects directly to my home Wi-Fi when I park and I can access the footage locally over Wi-Fi or remotely if the cam is connected to Wi-Fi using an app on my phone. I hope this gave you some insight on dashcam and sentry system and some ideas for some added protection for yourself and your Tesla. If you liked the video, I did appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for a follow up when I further explore this fantastic car. Thank you for watching.